session on activating SAP Fiori apps via rapid activation. It is generally a useful technique for implementation and continuous improvement projects where you are deriving more value out of your current SAP S4 HANA system. In this session, you are going to learn about how to rapidly activate all Fiori apps and classic UIs for SAP business role. It is useful for technical and functional consultant who would like to understand how Fiori apps can be activated. All right, so we are going to go through the prerequisites for rapid activation. First thing you would need to do is that once you have logged into the SAP Fiori apps library, you can navigate to all apps for SAP S4 HANA. Since we are going to do it by uh, on the business rows, you can select by rows. And you have an option to either enter the role or you can just uh, select the filter option and uh, enter in your criteria. So we'll, we'll select the line of business as finance. And uh, we can we uh, we would get to know that uh, the all the SAP uh, business roles which are related to finance. So I'm just trying to navigate to the one which we are trying to activate during this session. All right, we select the uh, SAP business role for account payable manager. Once you have selected, you could see that there are 27 apps related to this business role. This can be web GUI uh, as well as classic UI5 apps, uh, UI5 apps as well. Now we'll just select uh, one of the uh, one of the apps and uh, check for details, and also ensure that these apps are uh, these apps are based upon your current system versions. So. Uh, Like I'm, uh, I'm selecting the option as account payable overview app, and I'll select my current system version, which is SAP S4 HANA 2020 feature pack 02. And once you have selected this option, you can navigate to the implementation on information. And for details, you need to go to the configuration section. Here you can get all details such as UI5 applications, uh, OData services, Fiori, uh, what are the what are the technical configuration which are required as well as the app launcher and target mapping technical catalog as well as business catalog details and you can see here the sap business role uh, which is account payable manager we'll just copy this business role for our reference and go to the sap gui uh, where we execute the transaction code stc01 for for task manager for task list and we enter the task list as SFE Fury content content activation. Once you have executed, you can see the uh, the steps which are going to happen when we when you are going to activate the business role. Since we already know the business role which we are going to activate, we'll select this line item as select config uh, select or confirm the SAP business role for FLP content activation and then enter the business role. We know we are going to go, uh, activate the SAP business role account payable manager. And we'll just select here and save this. Also, you have an option to name uh, suffix your business role. Since we are copying from the standard role, you can add a suffix here. Uh, sorry, um, uh, just uh, to di differentiate, uh, I will just add as, as ZB as a prefix to the role which we are creating. Once you have selected the prefix name for the business role, you can just simply execute the uh, execute the task list act activation, and it would so the uh, it would generate the business role. In order to Check the logs. We will just uh, we'll, we have just expanded this section, and here you can see the uh, steps and the log uh, uh, logs for the task uh, for the business role generation. We'll just execute this step. 
Also, please note that uh, this option allows you to create user with the generated business role. So it would be very helpful if you are trying to derive a test user straight out of a of a business role. Since we already have a demo user created, I'm just simply going to assign this uh, assign this business role which has been generated now. As you can see that uh, this business role is now available and has been created. So I'll just copy this business role. In order to ensure that the business role has been created, we'll just check in the system. As you can see that uh, this has uh, this comes with a detail that role has been copied from SAP BR AP manager and now we are going to use this business role. As we already have a demo user, I'm just going to use that. Please note that you would need certain authorization to uh, for this user uh, to access Launchpad. For that, I have already created a general end user role and assigned to this uh, user. I'll assign the business role which I have created now, which is a business role of AP account payable manager. Now uh, we'll log into the uh, test user demo user where we are going to see how uh, the apps has been activated. We have logged into our demo system, uh, demo user, and we'll just uh, execute the option SAP Fury Launchpad, or you can uh, use the transaction code UI to FLP. It might take a time to load up uh, just because you are executing it the for the first time. But as you can see, now you have all the apps which are associated with the business role. You can click on any of the apps and just uh, use the uh, apps as per the requirement. Thank you for being part of this session.